Hey guys, Brad and the Buff here. I got my buff on my head and I'm ready to go. Today I wanted to talk to you about my Zero Shoes Z Trail sandals. Um, I put these on a trip recently and I wanted to give you a quick review of what I thought about taking these with you and hiking in them. <music> So these are my Zero Z Trail sandals. I recently took them on a trip. I'd taken them once before on a little two mile in and out, and I liked them enough that I thought I'd give them a try on a longer trip. It is best if you're trying equipment that's essential for the first time. You don't try to do too much with it because if you end up taking something that doesn't work out well for you, you might be in for a long trip. So I just planned a short uh, three, it was about three eight mile days, so I guess closer to 24 miles. Uh, and I wanted to give these a try because I just thought it'd be something fun and different, which is a huge part of hiking, is just getting out, trying different gear, seeing what you like. Uh, so I'll start off with some of the things that I like the most. They are very lightweight on your feet, and I could definitely tell the difference between wearing these and shoes. Even a pair of lightweight hiking shoes is still gonna be around two pounds. And that's for a pretty light pair. These are 12 ounces together. So you're, you're gaining about a pound and a half on your feet. Um, so that's nice. It is also great. My feet were able to breathe the whole trip. So I never had sweaty feet um, or my feet get clammy. I didn't have to bring hiking socks because obviously I have sandals, so that's not essential. Um, so I was able to cut weight with not having to bring any socks. Um, I also didn't need to bring any backup. You know, normally I might bring something really light to, to take around and just wear in camp once I get in. Not necessary if all you brought is your sandals. So I liked that they were open for my feet. I did like also that you had a little bit more connection and contact with the trail. Um, so it, it's just a different trail feel. Uh, some of the cons are that obviously your feet are open and unprotected. I did not have any problems with that as far as like things scratching my feet on the top. I thought it would be more of an issue, but I have enough, I had enough coverage around my feet, my foot kind of fit inside of this, that that really wasn't something that happened. Um, what I can tell you is, is I probably took way too much weight on me to support these. I really, I'm willing to do this again, but it's going to have to be in an ultralight setup. I probably came in at 35 pounds. I knew that was too heavy for these, probably, but it was a short trip, so I wasn't that worried. If you get a rock and it happens to be a sharp pointed one right in the middle, you are going to feel it. Um, it wasn't so much that it was a big deal. It didn't cause me any kind of long-term problems. Um, I didn't get injured from it, but it was a bit uncomfortable. Um, on if I got right in between a couple rocks or some pointed rocks, it just, you know, hurt for a second, no big deal. So I think I would make sure that I had probably less than a 20 pound full pack weight if I were to do these again. Uh, another thing is, is that I took out, I've put a ton of miles on these, just wearing them around. I bought these because they were so robust. I went through sandals like no man's land. I usually broke through them, I would break off the top but I wanted something a little bit sturdier. These are about 70 bucks, so they do cost you know three times as much as a normal sandal, but they have lasted me far more than three times as long. So just for wearing around and something comfortable that you can walk around in, these are perfect. Something you can do day hikes in, these are perfect. Um, but I probably should not have taken something I had so many miles on. I think I'm going to get a new pair before I try them out again. Um, because I just think these were a little bit worn before I went on the trip. Um, so I'm going to give that a swing, probably get a new pair before I do it again. Another thing is it did rain on the trip, and when rain got in the bottom of these, I tended to slide a little bit. Um, I didn't like that feeling. There wasn't a whole lot I could do about them, but my foot would slide side to side. Now, it did get cradled in because these straps were pretty good about keeping your foot, so I never slid out of it. But just the feeling of my foot sliding a little bit in these when I was going up in hills was kind of a problem. I didn't like that. That could be due to the fact that I have so much wear on them. So um, I am going to get, I think, a new pair soon and probably in the spring give it another chance to see if I still have that sliding. Um, I also probably need to build some more calluses in places where the straps connected with my feet, like here, here, and especially up here. 
I did need to use some Luco tape because I was starting to like blister up and it was starting to dig into my foot a little bit. Um, I think that's probably just from a lack of usage and a lack of developing blisters in their areas. It was no big deal once I taped those areas, no problem whatsoever, but you will get some, some high wear on your feet right at where these straps are highly contacting your foot. Um, so overall, I did really enjoy the experience. If it was a short three or four mile, these are totally a pro, even the ones I have. But before I do anything more than eight miles, I think I'm gonna to need to get a new pair of shoes. And I also wanna be in a ultra light setup. So I wanna be probably 20 pounds or less uh, before I give these another try. And I don't know if I really want to go up a ton of hills um, in these just they don't you know going up I felt like I wasn't quite as secure as I needed to be um, one other downfall is you cannot run in these things I can assure you I had to run down a hill on this trip um, and running in these things is a mistake so that is something else you lose I don't know why you would need the ability to run that often while you're hiking but if it's something you want to do uh, these are not the shoe for you I can assure you you will feel every stone underneath of you as you are running. Um, and I'm a bigger guy too, so that might have been part of it. You know, I'm over 200 pounds. So, um, you know, that might be a little bit different if you're lighter weight. But uh, overall, I did really enjoy the experience. Like I said, I love these for day hiking. Would have no problem taking these on long day hikes. And I will give it another try uh, before, I, um, before I dismiss them as a possibility because I think the upside is so great. And there are other people that wear these all the time. Um, but that's my final take on it, is if you wanna try them out, I would highly recommend them for day hikes. I don't know if I would take them backpacking right away. You might wanna build into that. And um, I don't know, I just enjoyed the feel of them on my feet. So once again, this is a great product. I got the Zero Shoe Trail. They also make the Zero Shoe Trek, not to get confused, the Trek is a little bit of a lighter version of this, but the Zero Trek shell, uh, Trail is a very good day hike hiking shoe and probably great with a ultra light setup. And I'll let you know when I get to that. Thanks guys, and I appreciate you watching. Catch hey guys, if you liked the video you just saw, please subscribe, click the bell so you can get alerted for any new videos that I may do. And check the links below for any information I described in the video. I'll try to put as much there as possible. Thanks for watching.